and today we're going to be going over DK books I'm obsessed with DK books but I'm going over a particular series you stay tuned you're going to love it and I hope that you're able to check it out for yourself all right let's get started okay so first up is animal by DK animal is a really beautiful book so it separates let me go back so you can start the way in it separates everything by the type of animal so invertebrates fish reptiles um, amphibians birds mammals they have everything separated and categorized right so how, why this is good is when you're doing a unit study or you're doing something some type of study and you want to supplement it's easy to kind of go and find out what's in the book the pictures y'all that's just i can't even it's amazing it's amazing like i just want you guys to see it amazing we just talked about pictures, right? Okay, look at this. This is a giant clam, right? So then you get these amazing pictures and then you have facts. There are facts spread with throughout the book, of course. It's definitely image-based, but there's some on the bottom. It's just beautiful. When you get into like animals, it's very thorough too. Well, let's do insects. It has comparison, it compares it. Um, to other um, species it is it gives you um, the actual scientific terms like where they're located just if you were doing a B unit right the details are amazing the information is not overwhelming like look at this if you were doing a pond unit or a sea creature unit or fish you're learning about fish what, can, what else do you need? You literally bring this out and this can be a basis or a spine for your entire unit and you just tear apart each individual thing. Like you learn about each thing. It tells you the senses, how they swim, the direction. It tells you different features, what makes it a fish, um, types of fish. It's really great. It's a really great comprehensive, look at this. Sea lamprey. It's crazy, right? Your kid would definitely love this. Any kid would. Like, look. Any kid. It doesn't matter what unit you're talking about. Like, what study you're doing. Even if you have a full curriculum. You need this book to, like, just bring it to life. You know what else you can do with stuff like this? You can take a book, you can get some tracing paper, let them trace these images. You can have a, an art competition where um, you guys are trying to replicate the picture of it. You can draw art out of this where they're trying to paint this. They can do a C um, uh, painting. Uh, if this is, a you can make a word search, take the different types, like a shark word search, take the different types of names and put it in a word search and let them make their own word search. This is, look at this. Mamas, it's showing the babies. Do you see the babies? The young fry. Do you see the pooch? Okay. DK outdid themselves. And this is not boring. Like this is the new age, like encyclopedia. This, this is crazy. It's telling, this is the target, Poe Baby. But it's going through everything, the instincts of an eagle. It's just everything you can imagine is in here. It's in here. Look at this, hippos. Hey, 
an orca. I know y'all do orca units. You talk about orca, look. How big is an orca? This could be copy work, mama, right? You can have different facts. They can have a copy work book, a regular notebook, right? And if you have an animal lover, you can have them do copy work on a different animal every day or a different um, species every week and they do copy work. They can do a drawing on one side and then they can do copy work of a certain fact on the other. Boom, all from one book without you having to buy 12,000 curriculums. There's so much. Like, so there's another part of here, right? Like they also go through, you know, reproduction, different types of reproduction with animals, how different animals parent, that's the big thing, their habitats, where they can be found. There's so much, like the food webs, who eats who and what, and this is just, it's an amazing book. So this is Animal. Next book is Space. So I know a lot of people do space units, so this is really helpful. Okay. This has everything it needs. The pictures, again, the bomb. Pictures are amazing. Not too overwhelming. This is a little bit more detailed. Um, so yeah, you wouldn't necessarily do kindergarten. Kindergarten would actually probably like pictures, but you'll have to explain um, a little bit of the text. But it goes through everything. It goes through all the planets, the layers of the earth, the moon, the stars. It goes through different features on our different planets. It also goes through um, gal I mean, oh, look at that. galaxies. You got supernovas, black holes. What does it look like? What is it? It's just... It's amazing, look. There are facts throughout. And much like the animal book, you can really pull out what you need. You can use it for just research. You can use it for copy work. You can use it for challenges. You can use it for model replicas, dioramas. Um, there's so many ways that you can use these reference books. You can do activities. And in the back, this one actually has a reference because um, there's a little bit more um, information that you really need. So it compares all of the planets, um, tells you meteor showers, comets, eclipses. It really, um, if your kid is into galaxies, it really goes through like a brief overview of all the galaxies. Um, it's beautiful. And of course the glossary. And this is what I really appreciate about DK because their glossaries, it's not like you're reading it on like a page and then you're like, but I don't, I don't really know what they're talking about. You can come back to the, gap, the glossary and it's a simple glossary where they can understand, right? So this is DK Space. The next is science. Science is like a culmination of animal and space. And it's, it's really cool. So you could really get this and not get the other ones. I got the other ones because it's more detailed in the others. But so science, um, it goes through the elements. It goes through... Um, energy then it goes into life it gives you the entire like a broad overview right so where the space would, would go space book would go into detail about the different types of galaxies like you'll have a whole like chapter on this this gives you an overview but again these pictures are the bomb this is about atoms ionic bonding look at this how beautiful that is. Rocks and minerals. We actually use this too. This was an interesting section. 
We use this during our mineral study. Um, and of course this is a traditional periodic table, but what I like about it is it gives the periodic symbol. It also gives the atomic structure. It tells you like where you can find it, what it is, um, more than just simply this is nickel, this is gold, right? It actually gives an example and real pictures of what that looks like. Same thing with um, like chemical reactions. If you're doing a chemistry unit, this is a great um, book to have as well because it kind of ties in like real world application to what they might be learning in like a unit study. Like what is a compound? In theory, you, you learn what it is, but like what really, what's the example of a compound, right? So it goes through that. Let's get into some other stuff. I mean, It goes in different types of energy. We look, we looked at this as well. This was really good. Um, it gives you, it's like a real world application to some of the things that just science, to some of the things that you might be learning in your unit study. And then it gets into life. So like half the book gets into life. Now, the only thing that I didn't like, it, it, now this is not to say that you would agree, it's based on what you believe for your family. I don't necessarily necessarily subscribe to um, evolution. So, um, but it's here. And we've had the discussions, well, we ha see this in the book, but we understand you know, cre the creation and how that worked. I also am not a fan of Darwin, however, it's here and it, it, it's here, right? So you choose what you want your child to be exposed to. And the fact that we don't necessarily agree with some of this doesn't mean that I'm not gonna teach my kid about it. I don't want them to learn about it somewhere else. I'm just gonna correct them based on what I think they should um, know. Okay, so what is life? So it gets into everything. It goes all the way back into like the very simplest forms of life. It goes from fossils, time periods. It talks about evolution, the idea of it as well. Um, but then it goes into like the smaller microorganisms. Um, it, it really, in a very, it's complex theories, but, and um, information, but it's done in a way where your kid can kind of like grasp it. So if you're learning about different kingdoms, you'll see the kingdom, you'll see an, a, a picture of it, it gives you an idea of the size, right? Look at this. So if you're learning about cell structure, this is great, right? I mean, it gives you the differences between animal and plant cells. There's a lot of really good information in this book. How, it, how that pertains to humans. It gives you like what an ecosystem is and nutrition in that ecosystem. Oh, we use this for our plant study. It was really great. It really tied it in. And my five-year-old actually really understood it. It was really a helpful um, aid for us when we did our, our plant study. Then it gets into how these animals process food. So where the animal book will go into more of um, the actual creature, so you can see, like the creature and what it is, this book will go into more of how they live, what makes them unique, different um, way, the ecosystems, you know, how they function, how we function. It's the science of it. Look at this. You remember we're talking about like a pond unit? Look at this. This is so pretty. You guys, okay, DNA. This is, I, I can't, I don't know. I can't, I don't know how you would not fall into this. Yes, it, it's an investment. However, it's an investment that you're gonna make that's gonna probably last you your entire homeschooling career. And if you decide not to homeschool, you're still gonna have great resources for your kid to be able to look up things versus Googling versus just not having the answer. Right? 
So, this is science. <sighs> My daughter's favorite. Human body. Human body is interesting. So you're gonna have some overlap from the other one, but this definitely goes into the winter front. Definitely goes into, you know, our systems. You got your systems, it goes, it breaks it down. Head and neck, chest and back, arms and hands, body science, legs, abdominal cavities. It's, it just breaks it down. Here's a cell, another beautiful picture, right? It starts from the very basics, stem right goes into dna like look at the detail it goes in the stages of life that is in there but it's not too much i don't think um it breaks down the systems it breaks so like we might have a discussion on like my daughter actually had like a um a little abrasion and you know, we took that experience and then came to this book and was like, okay, we were talking about the different layers of the skin and why the layers, um, some parts of our body heal quicker than others. She, we were talking about that with nails. I mean, it's, this book has served us well. It, we definitely got our money to work. The pictures are really, really, really awesome again. And it's not too much. Like in human body books, look at this. In human body books, it can be too complex for kids to really grasp. I like that DK makes these really complex, um, they give you the information, but they break it down to where a kid can actually understand it. Right, look at this. Look at this show. This is, It goes into why, how these systems work, right? My daughter actually went to this too, and this is my five-year-old daughter. She went to this and she was like, just going through it. And she was like, mommy, this is where the spit comes from. Can you read this? <laughs> she goes through, or she loses, she lost her tooth, you know what I'm saying? And she'll come in and be like, oh, this is why, this and this and this. Like, she loves this book. I don't know how, why, oh. So this was interesting. We had an experience where we had to go to the eye doctor and they, before we went, we actually went over this. We had the, the book in the car and they knew like the different parts of the eye. And so our doctor there, our eye doctor, <laughs> sorry, actually went through an x-ray of their eye and pulled it out and they were able to like identify. It was really great because they had this resource. They knew you know, a little bit more than what a kid would really know. She understands vision. It tells you how vision works. Look at this. This is a book, y'all. I didn't have, I didn't have this when I was growing up. Maybe that's why I'm so like excited about these. And I just, I like it because again, you can use it for anything that you're going, like you're, you're you know, teaching. I mean, okay. Okay, how about this mama? Where poop come from? Where does poop come from? <laughs> Here you go. Tell that baby how the poop gets formed. Okay? Gives you the whole, the whole breakdown. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know you got that question before. Where does poop come from? There you go. There you go. Tells you why you should drink water. Now, you're going to have your body part. I have a five-year-old. You know, she names her body parts. We don't have nicknames for it. We don't necessarily, she's not going through, you know, female reproduction yet, but she understands that this is a female body. Likewise, know that this is here as well. So, if you have a young boy, this is gonna be here. But when you have those talks, you might want to go through this is a really good diagram that's not too offensive that your child can really learn about the body just know it's there okay and this is the extent of reproduction it's not saying how it's made necessarily but 
this is what it looks like. So like I'm pregnant, right? They know the baby looks like this in, in my belly. You see? It's just enough. It's not too much. It's just enough. This is human body. It's again, it's amazing. It has some timelines in there, some stuff about, you know, robots. History, history, this is, you know, everyone has their own thing about history. So let me just tell you what I think at the end. It breaks it down, ancient world, medieval, age of exploration, modern world, age of revolution. And within this, I will say again, the visuals are really great, right? You may or may not agree with some of the timelines and what's being taught. But when you get to things you do agree with, they're great visuals, right? So I would say if you have a certain doctrine or belief or way of teaching history, this can be a great supplement. You, I would pre-read it before you introduce it to your kids. But especially in the early part, like over here. But when you get into like certain ancient civilizations, like Mesopotamia, right? It's hard to find things on Mesopotamia. But like this was really a pretty good couple pages on it. That gives you just enough information for you to do more exploration. Here's the Egypt, right? It gives you the general ideas about Egypt and then you would then build upon it with, you know, supplemental information, right? But the images are really nice. Like, look, this is the religion and telling, you know, telling them about how the pyramids were, you know, inside. And it's really great. The Egyptian daily life. Really nice. It gives a visual where it puts it together, ancient Greece, right? And so on. So it goes, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty thorough. Byzantine area, um, era, you get some Asian um, history in there, China, Golden Age, the Crusades, Ottoman Empire, like everything's in here. It even goes into some of the things that we, um, a little couple, a little more modern. So it goes in the Great Depression, talks about dictators. Now, you know, I am big on African American history and African history, and it doesn't have a huge, you know, but we supplement that. And we'll have some resources for you um, in later videos to help you supplement that. But it touches a couple things. Those are the Cold War. It's really great. It's a great, a little bit of civil rights, not much. Um, not much. Apartheid, not much. But enough to introduce it and then it gets into like you know green living and you know different things it's really it's really comprehensive but for the earlier like the ancient civilizations i think it's worth getting because wherever you're studying whatever you're studying you can kind of like pull out a page and then they have like a picture reference to it okay the last one is superbug so there's an animal a science and superbug superbug the reason i got this is because um, like it goes really into great detail about bugs and we like bugs. So it talks about the, the anatomy, what they do, who they eat. It's just, so that same bee from earlier in the video, this is gonna go into greater detail. Like it's going, I'm, I can see the insides of the bee. I know the exoskeleton, like what they're closely related to. Um, it really just goes into detail. And again, like we, yeah. 
the mo the morpho butterfly so we studied this and we actually went to a museum for morpho butterfly it was like an exhibit and they had a whole bunch of these butterflies there and it, it was really amazing this is what's interesting about this book the stats and the facts right it gives you the species and this is for each type each animal each bug it gives you how long the wingspans are it gives you um, how they defend themselves, what's going on with them, their lifespan. This is really good, it's really interesting. Um, then they give you at a glance stuff where it gives you location, diet, what they eat. When we go outside and we do nature walks and different things, or we are learning about different insects and bugs, we find ourselves really coming back to this and finding out a little bit more about what we're seeing right like it's not just gonna say the spider has eight legs it's gonna go into like the lifespan of that particular spider um some really cool facts about it right like this is a desert locust right so rather than just giving me the you know anatomy of the locust it goes into like the stats again what it looks like when it's young how long it lives where it lives what's its greatest um feature how you know how it does in its ecosystem it's really i think it's worth it this is definitely you do, do you have to do it no is it worth the investment uh, absolutely yeah because you can you can give this in a drawing all day and have them color it. It's just not the same. It brings it to life. And and they look real. Look at this. Giant water bug. A roach. <laughs> okay. So that is it. Okay, so that concludes our DK review. I told y'all, it's the bomb. You can spend money on 12,000 books if you want to. These babies, this collection is amazing. I've got so many activities, so much information, it pays for itself. So I would check this out. The links will be below for you. Um, I hope this helps in you, you know, making a decision on this versus something else. I would invest in this for your homeschool. All right, enjoy and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.